So the first compartment we're going to tell you about is the anterior muscles of the thigh and their functions to extend the leg at the knee joint and this is called, uh, caused by the femoral nerve L2 to, through L4. And a fun fact, the sartorius is the longest muscle in the body. So here's the anterior thigh and we have the solstice major right here, the ilicus over here, the rectus femoris, the vastus medialis, lateral to the rectus femoris, then uh, medial to the rectus femoris, we have the vastus medialis, um, and then right here is the sartorius and the penisus. So, an so this is leg extension at the knee joint. And then we have our posterior part of our thigh known as the hamstring, and these include the muscles the bicep femoris long head, the bicep femoris short head, the semimembranosus, and the semitendinosus. And these posterior thigh muscles work together to extend the hip and flex at the knee, and they're innervated by the sciatic nerve L4 through S3. So here's an example of uh, the muscles working together to uh, extend the hip and flex at the knee. So for the medial muscles of the thigh, also known as the hip adductors, we have the adductor magnus, which lies posteriorly to the other muscles. We have the adductor longus right here. Um, the adductor brevis, which lies underneath the adductor longus, the obturator externus right here it's the most superiorly and the gracialis the most superficial and medial of uh, muscle in this compartment these muscles are innervated by the obturator, obturator nerve and their main function is adduction as you can see for their names so adduction will be this this is me performing adduction Adduction. This is the adduction. Adduction basically means towards medial, so like towards your body. So then we have the leg compartment, which is separated into three: the anterior, posterior, and medial. In the anterior compartment, we have the tibialis anterior, the extensor hallucis longus, which reaches your hallux and the extensor digitorum longus and their function is to create dorsiflex and invert the foot at the ankle so inversion is this this is inversion you see how it turns inward towards the body inversion and then dorsiflex is this something cool is if you put your your hand right here at the tibia, tibialis anterior you can actually feel it flexing while you perform dorsiflexion. Then we have the posterior compartment of the leg, which includes the superficial muscles. Uh, anterior will have the head of the gastronemius. Then we have the plantaris, which is a little purple muscle right there, and runs all the way down. And then we have the soleus and the calcineal tendon. And then posteriorly, we have the colitis, the tibialis posterior, the flexor hallucis longus and the flexor digitorum longus and their function is plantar flex and inversion of the foot this is caused by the tibial nerve and the terminal branch of the sciatic nerve so plantar flex will be this plantar flex and then and bird of the foot will be this. And finally, we have our last compartment of the leg, and it is called the lateral compartment. And this includes the muscles, the fibularis longus and the fibularis brevis. And their function is Eversion, which is turning the sole of the foot outward and is caused by the superficial fibular nerve. And eversion is this. See how going lateral or outward.
works.